welcome to the Family Devotional. Brought to you by Children Can. Hello and welcome to today's devotional. Abby was happy. It was a hot summer's day and her parents had just brought a brand new swimming pool. Well, when I say brand new, I mean it was new to them. They'd actually bought it secondhand from a website. Well, they bought it from a person, but they found the person on a website. The person wasn't sitting on the website, but they were advertising the pool there. I think you know what I mean. That's it, I've had it. When the pool arrived, Abby was very disappointed. Oh, she had hoped great. that the water would at least come up to her tummy, but the whole pool fitted inside a box that was smaller than her. As there was no way she could fit inside the box, she wanted how she would fit inside the pool in the box. Perhaps there was a way she would be able to shrink smaller. Her dad just told her to wait and see. Oh, yeah. First, they took the pool out of the box and opened it up. It was just like the paddling pool she had when she was three. It needed to have air pumped into the walls. And as Abby's dad started to pump in the air, Abby got bored and then distracted and went chasing after a butterfly. The butterfly flew out of reach and then Abby had a staring contest with a robin. Abby won, by the way. By the time she came back, the pool walls had been filled with air and the pool was absolutely huge. It was taller than her and big enough for the whole family to go in at once. Abby's smile started to stretch from one side of her face to the other. This was going to be totally awesome. Nearly there. We just have to fill it with water and wait for it to heat up. It should be ready by tomorrow morning, her dad said. Abby couldn't wait. She wanted to jump in straight away. But when she did, she felt a bit silly. Swimming around in a swimming pool with no water in is very difficult. It feels more like lying on a concrete floor. Abby doesn't recommend you do it. Early the next morning, Abby was dressed, teeth brushed, bed made, curtains open and standing outside the pool waiting to go in. When her parents came outside, she leapt in, splashing water everywhere. It was still a little cold, but it was amazing. So much better now there was water in the pool. Although with all the splashing that Abby did, there was less water in the pool by the time she got out. No problem, her dad explained. We can just refill it. An empty Christian is like an empty swimming pool. It's a bit of a disappointment. God doesn't want us to be empty. He wants us to be filled with his Holy Spirit. Just like you take an empty glass and pour water into it, so God wants to pour his Holy Spirit in us, having cleaned us out from all of our sin. There is a psalm that talks about God wanting to fill us. I wonder if we could ask the colonel to help us. Here to help you? Of course I'm willing to help you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Hold on a minute. Colonel, you can actually hear what I'm saying properly. <gasps> Aye, stranger things have happened. Now, would you like me to read the verse to you? Psalm 103 verse 5 says, He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Yes, God wants to fill our lives with good things. And the best thing he wants to fill our lives with is himself. When we are full of God's spirit, we have God's life in us to help us live life to the full. Yay! Excuse me, can I add something? Professor, it's so good you are here. Hooray, it's Professor Swiffle Swaffle. That's Professor Swiffle Swaffle. To... Hold on a minute. What did you just call me? Professor Swiffle Swaffle. <gasps> That's right. You got it right. You said my name right for the first time ever. Oh, thank you. That means so much to me. Well, you mean so much to me, Professor. You've helped me so much to know about God. I got so upset that I couldn't remember your name, so I wrote it out until I knew I could get it right. Professor Swiffle Swaffle, you're the best. Well, thank you, but I'm not the best. You see, I was going to add that the Holy Spirit wants his life to flow out from us like a bubbling river. And Jesus said that we would have full life when we come to him, real life forever. In fact, he went on to say that true life is knowing God the Father and Jesus his Son. 
That's right, Professor. When we know God, we have life in the best way possible, as God created us to enjoy it. It begins with us coming to God and asking Him to take away our sins. Yeah, and He can do that because that's why Jesus died on the cross. That's right, but it doesn't end there. We have a whole lifetime ahead of us to get to know God more and to live for Him more and to enjoy this life fully. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. As a swimming pool is filled with water, so a Christian should be filled with the Holy Spirit, and for that to happen, we simply have to ask God and choose to live for God and feast on His Word. Ah,、oh, Ollie, that reminds me. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? I don't know. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because he was stuffed. <laughs> What's worse than finding a worm in your apple? I don't know. What's worse than finding a worm in your apple? Finding half a worm. <laughs> Have you ever tried to eat a clock? No,、nope, I've never tried to eat a clock. Oh, it's very time-consuming. Oh, brilliant! Thanks for that. God wants us to feast on Him and enjoy life with Him. Remember, the best part of the Christian life is having God's Holy Spirit live in us. Let's talk to Him now. Lord God, we ask that you will continually fill us with your Holy Spirit, that your life will flow out from us wherever we go. Thank you that you love us so much that you not only save us but you give us your Spirit to live in us and work through us. We want more of you in our lives and in our world. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed this series of devotionals. If you missed out on any of them, don't forget that you can catch up with them on our website. You can also download activity packs for each of the mini series of devotionals. We've got loads of other resources that can help you to grow with God. Head to www.childrencan.co.uk to find out more. Bye. This production was made by Children Can. Find out more about us. Go to www.childrencan.co.uk.